Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'd like to share a project that I just finished. This is a custom ordered album from a really sweet lady. Hi, Javea. And she wanted a baby's first year album. So the album is to go through the first 12 months that the mom can add photos of each month and document different milestones of each month. And she wanted a superhero one, so I showed her like this little superhero um, digital pack, but she wanted the actual Marvel DC characters, which is completely out of my element. I don't know much about them. So I had to get quite a bit of advice from her and also from my husband and my son. And I am so happy with how this album turned out, especially for it not being, um, you know, something that comes natural to me. I didn't put any ribbon or flowers in it. So this was a little out of my element, but like I said, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So she also wanted a box for it to sit in. And this photo here, I absolutely love. I got this off the internet. I think this was the coolest photo. I don't know if you can see um, how it's gonna pick up in video, but it has Spider-Man's reflection here. I put one of those little, um, I don't even know what these are called, but I know that they're comic things. I put the baby's name in it. And I ordered a digital download paper that is uh, Marvel paper, and this is one that came in it. This I got off the internet, and I absolutely love it. I use this on the bottom as well. And what I did different with this box that I've never done before, which worked out really well and I will do in the future, is I printed out the digital papers, dried them, let them sit overnight, dried them. I added a layer of Mod Podge over them, and then I cut them out and added them to the box with tape. So instead of using Mod Podge on top of the box, I did it on the paper first. And it was such, it was so much cleaner, not such a mess, and it turned out really well. So the box fits the album perfectly. And inside I did, I believe this is a seven and a half by eight and a half album. Let me set this aside. And I did use Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge System. There's 12 pages, one for each month. And again, I found this on the internet and I thought this was, was the coolest picture. This is obviously Captain America. I put the baby's name, added some red paper on the back, used this on the spine. It went really well together. And when you open the album, Every single page has a pull-out mat with a bracket tab. That way the mom can add more photos. I won't pull each of those out, but every single one has them. And I did the same theme throughout. So on the left side is going to be a pocket that the mom can use for journaling, but she can also add photos to if she wants. And whatever I did in the background here, I did as a photo mat behind the black here. And this is, the black mat is four and an eighth by six and an eighth. So the mom can put a four by six photo and it'll still leave a small border. As you can see, this is Captain America. This is actually paper that I made myself. I found this image on the internet and I added it to the paper, printed it out. I love, I use this foil paper in the back because his um, shield here has that red foil look. And I have the mat for when the baby's first born, all the information. I added a welcome baby with the baby's name and a photo mat on the back. This one is for Batman. She specifically wanted certain characters in there, so I made sure to add all the characters that she had requested. So again, here is the um, journaling spot that the mom can add all the milestones, baby's height, weight, and on each one of these, I did one of these, um, I don't know what these are called, but I know that they're comic related. So I did month one through month 12, and I love this Batman. I got this um, from the online silhouette store. I left all of them open so the mom can slip photos right behind each one. Here is Green Lantern. So I put his symbol, I got this off uh, Silhouette's online store. And this is the digital paper pack that I got. I put a tag, again, from um, the same digital paper. This is month two. Again, he's open. 
The next one is just a general, there's no specific um, character. I put this in here, uh, month three. I love this polka dot paper with it. This one, as you can see, is Captain America again. Love this. I got this off the internet, I believe. And again, it's open so a photo can be placed behind. And in this one, I added that same photo, but I printed it out on photo paper. I, Like I said, I love this image. And the mom can journal or place a photo on back. And then, of course, she still has her journaling spot here. The Hulk. Love how this one turned out. I got this image off the internet. This one's just a general one. I think this is supposed to be like, um, I don't even know, Gotham City, but Batman signal. And on the back here I used the silver foil. Love how that turned out. Flash. I got the flash symbol um, from the online silhouette store. This one's just a general one. Added this zap. Did it in, um, I know that it's all primary colors mostly, so yellow and green. And then this one, I loved how it turned out. This is uh, Robocop, so I put the baby's initials in there. I love how um, Robocop has that gold, so I used the gold foil here. Added a little tag. Some stars from that same foil paper, and again, this is left open. So a photo can slip right behind it. Spider-Man, love this one as well. I think I got these off the internet. The um, digital paper from that same paper pack. And this is again the same photo from what I used on the front of the box. I did it, uh, excuse me, printed it out on photo album. At, excuse me, I can't speak. Photo paper as well and did a journaling or a mat on the back, whichever she chooses and Superman. I got this large image from um, the online silhouette store. This one too, I believe. And last but not least is going to be the baby's 12th month, so the first birthday. So I just added some stars, some um, birthday balloons and the font that I use throughout this entire album for all of this is a font that I got from dafont.com and it's a comic strip font so I thought it went really well I added this little tag in here so again completely out of my element I'm so happy with how it turned out um, more importantly I hope she's happy and if you have any questions please leave me a comment thanks so much for watching